today we are going to see the Newton rings refractive index of the lens this experiment we are going to see so first we have to know the aim of this experiment that is to determine the refractive index of the given long focus convex lens which is placed here we have to find out the refractive index of this given lens so for that we need some apparatus that is sodium vapor lamp sodium vapor lamp vernier microscope and then this landing uh, glass to place the lens to see the readings we need to uh, zoom in lens so first we have to fix this so fix this lens like this so this is the glass plate is under the lens so by the convex lens should be placed on the over the uh, glass plate then if we if we look at the bottom of this line i will get the fringes like rounded rounded lines like this so the rounded rounded lines like this so this is the radius of curvature we have to fix this cross wire like this We have to fix this cross wire like this. So for that, we just focus the by using this apparatus, by using this microscope. I am going to fix the curve like this. So if I got the value after that, I am going to start the reading by using this zooming lens. So from the zeroth line, we should match. From the zeroth line, we should match the. Main scale reading that is Vernier scale reading that is 7.2 nearly. Then among this 50th line, among this 50 lines, we have to see the coincidence for this main scale reading. Okay, so it will be like this. So the first round is n order, as I said already. So this is the nth order and this is n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3. Here I set this microscope and uh, here I, I have to stop it and then take the reading for second reading that is MSR, VC and TR readings. So the, the final readings. So for this left side we have to calculate for uh, observe we have to observe the readings for n n plus 3 n plus 6 n plus 9 up to n plus 27 what how much lines we have we may observe we can do it then opposite for the right side by adjusting this microscope knob by adjusting this microscope knob i could move this to the left and right and then i will take the another readings that is for right side for as we shall see in n, n plus 3, this side, from start this side. Here now, it is n. So, by differentiating this value, I will get the t value. By differentiating this both t or I will get the t value. And then by dividing by 2, the value of d, I will get the r value. This is the radius. And then after the calculation is over. And the final one, we are going to square the values where it is. And then... This table have R square n plus 15. Here n plus 15 and n values. We have to minus this term according to this readings. So minus this term and then this term, this term like we will have 5 values. The average of this values we have S1 value here as 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So after doing this, I am going to repeat this by changing this lens face to the bottom to the up and up to the bottom. I am going to change it and then having this radio reading left and right, I will take the readings, both the readings. Then as usual, the same R square n plus 15, then R n square, I will have the reading. So finally, we are going to calculate the radius of curvature by the observing one, S1 and S2, we have already done with. So then, we just put in the formula, 15 into lambda. So the lambda is the wavelength of the sodium lamp. Sodium uh, vapor lamp have the uh, the line. The sodium line having the wavelength of 5893 into 10 to the power minus 10. That is nanometer in Armstrong in it. So this is Armstrong in it. 
so then we will calculate after getting the value we will get the r1 and r2 values the substituting both the r1 r2 values in the refractive index of the lens formula that is mu is equal to 1 plus 1 by f into r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 there is no unit because of both the uh, lens are having same unit so that will get cancel no unit there is then by having this formula we can calculate the value that is 1.5 approximately there is a new value so here wise we are going to do the results uh, by thank you. thank you.